it is with no small amount of sorrow and a vast amount of pride that I stand before you today to say farewell to this sacred office and its sacred trust. With the death of Superman, the collapse of the Soviet Empire is inevitable. We see it happening even now. But it's not the American way to leave an enemy gasping in the dust. We will reach out. We will give aid and comfort to the Russian people. And with the determination and compassion so unique to the spirit of this nation, we will reinvigorate the Soviet economy. A people that have lived too long in the shadow of oppression will awaken to the true power, the shining glory of democracy. Be assured that in time, all the Soviet nations will gladly and willingly join us in the formation of a truly global United States. The world we'll build together won't be perfect, but it will be one we can all be proud of because it will be a reflection of the very best of humanity. My resignation has shocked many of you, but a man has to know when it's time to leave the stage. I leave it in the capable hands of a truly great man who has worked beside me for more years than I dare to count. President James B. Olson. I entrust that vision not just to President Olson, but to all of you. And with that, I bid you all a truly heartfelt farewell. Time to leave the stage, huh? Well, time to leave that stage. What are you going to do now? Oh, I don't know. Write the great American novel, maybe? Find a cure for the common cold? Or maybe I'll just retire to a desert island with the smartest, strongest, most challenging, most beautiful woman I've ever known. I kind of like that last option.